I know most of you do not trust politicians, and I also know that most of you do not know what happened inside a political campaign. And I'm a huge believer in tearing down walls. So, my name is Rufus, and I'm gonna welcome you inside our campaign. Come along for the ride. I wanna run the most modern and old-fashioned campaign at the same time. Most modern in the sense that we will invest in the best data and technology, so we'll know where the voters are, we'll know um, how to contact them, we will do some really um, uh, nice sort of videos and be very active on social media to try to get to people where they are. But at the same time, I think we win with a very, very old-fashioned and human approach. So uh, knocking on doors, phone conversations, um, handshakes, eye contact, uh, listening, uh, that's what I think we need more of. It's sort of trying to bring democracy and politics back to its purest form, um, which is the human-to-human -human relationship. So when I was ambassador, I constantly got out from behind my desk, engaging the people directly, going to where they were, going to their homes, going to their businesses, and hearing from them. And there's something special about that. The way that I helped build the person-to-person connections while I was ambassador is the same style that I want to bring to any congressional office or any political campaign. This is about individual human contact. Every night is busy, every day is busy. We've crisscrossed this district, you know, 30 times probably over the course of the last month, going to from coffee shop to coffee shop to house to house, uh, to from farmer's market to farmer's market, to town committees and conference centers. and. You know, each time just talking to voters. So we're going to go speak to the UMass Lowell College Democrats. Um, I have to say that this is probably, one, I mean, of the now what seems like hundreds of events that I've done since I've launched this campaign, I actually, this is one that I'm probably most excited about because I, um, I love engaging young people um, on issues. So our Coffee and Conversations tour is stops we are doing in every one of the 37 cities and towns in the district. And we have exactly what it sounds like, coffee and a conversation. We talk about the issues of the day, the concerns people have, and how I, I hope to fix them. I'll introduce myself, tell my story, uh, talk about my experiences, share my values, and mm -hmm. never has it not then uh, continued into an interesting conversation about policy, about politics, about the future of the country, about the Trump presidency. Um, and man, I love that. I would say the people I have conversations with, their concerns are quite universal. I mean, they are concerned about the direction of the country. They are concerned about their future. Um, and that might be because of healthcare. It might be because of immigration. It might be because of just sort of a breakdown in civility more broadly. We as a party, individual political candidates for sure, but we as a party as well, have got to present a positive and optimistic vision for the future. It's gotta be bold, it's gotta be ambitious. If there is any time in American history for a 21st century version of a New Deal, let's do it now. Even though your energy is zapped at the end of the day, and it will be tonight, I can guarantee you, and we have an early morning tomorrow, um, you know, I fuel myself off the energy of other people. I, I, I fuel myself off of the positive energy that I get from people out there in the district, in these communities, and you see so much strength in it, so much strength in it, and I, I'm inspired by it. Um, and it gives me so much belief in what we are doing right now. So we have about 20 volunteers coming into the HQ oh tonight. God. Where are they from? Where, do you know where they're coming in from? Yeah, so yeah. we have a lot of local people from Lowell yeah. coming in, but yeah. we also have a lot of college kids coming from Boston. And yeah. we're doing two campaigns tonight, so Spanish speakers and English speakers. They're spending their Valentine's Day with us. I That's know, just so what better amazing. way? <laughs> what better way? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm so grateful for this. So is this our biggest night? Is this truly our biggest night yet? or is it? This uh... is our biggest night to date. We're going to have you go in and rally up the troops and then kick us off for a big night of phone calls. Awesome. It means so, so, so much to us uh, to uh, see so many people come back uh, day after day and, and uh, help us win this campaign. I'm running for Congress because I believe there is a massive deficit of trust that exists between people and institutions. And we desperately need to elect political leaders that are prepared to restore that trust, something that I very much feel like I can do. As someone who worked for President Obama for 10 years, helped implement his policies, helped pass things like Obamacare, and then served overseas as an ambassador, 
uh, seeing the magic and the true, uh, the true value that the United States has globally, um, I am so incredibly frustrated by how this real breakdown, this breakdown of trust uh, has occurred uh, globally, but especially right here at home. Um, and I want to spend my time uh, building that trust back, person to person, uh, house to house, neighborhood to neighborhood, having as many conversations as I can um, a, as a way to give people faith that the person that they are going to vote for on election day is there to truly serve their community. We desperately need a new generation of political leaders to come to Washington to build that those institutions back up and, and grow and create faith and trust back between the people and the institutions. To bring civility back into the system, to bring public service back into the kind of public mindset. We need to um, use our bully pulpit, use our voices. We have to make people believe not just convince them, but we have to show them that government can actually be a force for good in their lives. And that is everything from building roads and bridges, safe schools, better access to health care, relief of student loan debt, green jobs, all of these things. If we put forward an agenda like this, this is about government solutions to real human problems. This is not that long ago that people felt like government had their back. And we gotta fight for that again.